Today is April 26, 2022. And today we lost William Bill Byler, Edgewalker, Shamus Gentine, fighter, warrior for the LGBTQ community, a man that's lived a hard life, and finally he goes home. The pictures that I have placed here tonight are pictures taken from Beltane 1996 and in this picture we have Bill just sitting around the campfire spot with uh, everybody doing their thing and he was the high priest of Greenleaf Coven for many many years forever and here we have the high priestess that we have lost Amber Pat Allgaier having having fun at Beltane with everybody she was just so nice so cool and sweet and then in this picture we have from that same Beltane we have Amber Bill and Wolf who have all gone on these are all people who have been a part of Greenleaf for many, many, many years. Shamash initiated me into the coven in Maybon, 1996. And I love the man. He would come and visit at my house and we would hang out and we would just like you know just talk and you know just in, enjoy life he was he was that kind of guy he was so fun um he could do some funny things i remember one year we used to have these parties at amber's house called the debacle debauchery and i remember the year that i came and really made made an ass of myself Bill was sitting in the uh, Amber's front room in his leather jacket with a half bottle of Jack and I helped him drink it. I helped him drink that and he helped me drink some tequila and he was funny. We did some episodes of uh, the Pagan Pagan show which was our cable access program from back in the day and there was one time when we were trying to figure some stuff out and we were in Amber's living room and Bill was just being ornery and having fun and uh, Amber says can you act Bill and Bill falls on the floor and he just starts just shaking and vibrating and going oh oh like he's dying and he's just whole, and he's just acting so dramatic and everything and you can see it, and he's just going down and he's just he's really you know focused on it and then when he comes up he comes back up with just a big old smile on his face and he was just laughing and he made us bust out he was so funny um you know he, he had a hard life he, he lived with hiv um he was very, very active in the community, in the gay and lesbian community in, in Missouri and around the country and just everywhere. Everybody loved Bill. Bill was, you know, he was shy at times. He could be shy and reserved and if he didn't know you, you know, he, he just would, he would be nice, but it's just like if he liked you, then he would really just, you know, take the time. To talk to you and, and stuff like that and he would come to my house and we would sit there for oh my gosh you know just a couple hours and you know he would be he would be bored and life was just you know dragging him down and I, he would come over and we would hang out and I would just you know listen to him and you know just help him through 
And then here recently, within the last, oh my God, couple of months or so, with actually within the last few months, I found out that he had come back around in circulation and people were starting to know where he was. And he got a hold of me um, on Facebook and I was able to uh, communicate with him there and I gave him my phone number and we talked on the phone and we talked on Facebook and all these things and you know it's just over time the coven we've lost so many people we've lost Amber we've lost uh, Wolf we've lost uh, you know Ed Walker Bill Shamish we've lost Raven we've lost Gene there's been a lot of people that have moved on to the next life. And this is just a shock. I found out about this today. And it's just one of those things where, you know, he was gonna come to Beltane in the Park that we're hosting this Sunday. He was going to uh, uh, do the Southern Quarter, the, 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 the uh, realm of fire he was he was you know he was ready to go he was happy he wanted to get out he loved ritual he loved drumming he loved everything about being pagan he, he loved his role as priest here in Springfield and the other places that he's lived throughout his life and it is just so just so strange you know to get the news today that you know after dealing with so many health issues that a flu would you know take him out he's been dealing with health issues for many years but he's always had a good attitude and you know so it's just like i'm still not really processing this but what i do want to say is like to amber and to bill and to wolf i miss you guys I love you. I love you, Wolf. I love you, Bill. I love you, Amber. You guys are the people that are so important to me. Um, I just wanted to take this time to make this video to honor them. And I'm going to sing a song that uh, we would chant and sing sometimes at Amber's house. And we would all do this. And I think with this situation going on, it is very, very um, appropriate. Gate, gate, para gate, para sam gate, bodhisvaha. Shanti, shanti. Gate, gate, para gate. Parasangate Bodhisattva Shanti Shanti Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhisattva Shanti Shanti May the Lord and Lady bless Amber, Bill, and Wolf. And we will see you in the next life. We love you and we miss you so much. Blessed be.